He is known for his extraordinary height, standing at around 8 feet, 11 and a half inches, making him one of the tallest people in history. He is recognized for his involvement in the Freemasons, having reached the degree of Master Mason. His name is John Austin. In the small town of Minneapolis, Minnesota, a remarkable individual was born on March 5, 1890. His name was John Austin, and he would go on to become one of the tallest men in recorded history. Standing at an incredible height of around 8 feet and 11 and a half inches, Austin's towering presence was not the only thing that made him unique. Raised by his mother, Christy, a towering Norwegian woman herself, Austin's early life was filled with curiosity and challenges. Although it remains uncertain who his father was, his sister Evelyn believed it to be Alfred Austin. Tragedy struck when Austin was just 10 years old, as his mother passed away. Left without immediate family, he found himself taken in by various families in the community. Despite the hardships he faced, Austin's determination never wavered. He attended school and helped out in his foster family's hotel business in Leeds, North Dakota. However, it was during his adolescence that Austin experienced an extraordinary growth spurt. When he was confirmed in the Lutheran faith, he was the shortest in his class. But as time went on, his height began to soar. According to some sources, Austin reached a staggering height of around 8 feet and 11 and a half inches, while others state his height at 8 feet and 9.7 inches. Regardless of the exact measurement, Austin's towering stature made him a spectacle wherever he went. His incredible height propelled him into the spotlight, and he became known as one of the tallest men in history. In the world of showbiz, there are often tall tales and exaggerated claims, and the story of John Austin's height is no exception. According to the 1978 edition of Guinness World Records, he was listed as being only 7 feet tall. However, just before his death, at the age of 46, Austin was medically measured at 7 feet 0.9 inches. It was noted, though, that he had lost some height due to age and could not stand completely straight anymore. But the mystery surrounding Austin's true height didn't end there. In June 2008, Loma Linda University made a startling discovery. They confirmed that the 7-foot, 2.4-inch skeleton they had in their collection belonged to none other than John Austin. This revelation surprised many, including a Norwegian man named Bent Lundrussen. For 13 long years, Lundrussen dedicated his life to unraveling the truth about Austin's height. And what he uncovered was astonishing. Lundrussen found evidence suggesting that John Austin was actually a towering 7 feet 4 inches tall. To support his claim, Lundrussen made an intriguing comparison. He measured the height of Austin's mother's coffin, which stood at 6 feet tall, and reasoned that a son of such stature must have been taller than what was previously believed. While Lundrussen's findings may seem convincing, there is still some uncertainty surrounding Austin's true height. Some speculate that his sister, who was estimated to be around 175 to 180 centimeters tall, could shed light on this matter. Unfortunately, there is no concrete evidence to confirm her height and its relation to Austin's towering stature. The true height of John Austin remains a subject of fascination and debate. Whether he stood at 7 feet, 7 feet 4 inches, or somewhere in between, there's no denying that Austin's larger-than-life presence captivated audiences and left a lasting legacy in the world of entertainment. His towering figure will forever be etched in the annals of history, keeping alive the intrigue surrounding his true height. Do you want to explore more actors? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.